I edit each of these guide videos through the night as soon as my team gets our day one clear. If you find the video useful, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below and share the video as well. Yo, what's going on guys? It's G-Miners here. In this video, we are going over how to complete the first encounter, otherwise known as the obelisks in the new Vow of the Disciple raid. This is going to come down to three simple mechanics. First is killing taking knights in order to unlock rooms around the arena. Second is entering these rooms to defeat glyph keepers. And third is going to be entering the correct sequence onto the obelisks in the center of the arena. To start, split your team into two teams of three. Shooting the black crystal in the center of the arena will start the encounter. Each team should then be defending one of the three obelisks as Scorn will continually spawn and deal damage to them. Too much damage and your team will wipe. After killing the first set of adds, the column that correlates to one of the team's obelisks will show its top symbol. This will either be a pyramid ship or the traveler. This indicates which side of the arena a taken knight will spawn on. Sides are denoted with the giant icons on the center of the arena. Killing this knight will then show the second symbol on the same column. This second symbol will now correspond to a room that must be entered on the outer edge of the arena. If the door to this room is not open, players should shoot the black crystal in the center again. Having one player enter this room will now spawn two Scorn Glyph Keepers. Killing both of these enemies will reveal two different symbols within the room. Each symbol will be on one side. Just like the main arena with the Pyramid Ship and Traveler icons, these rooms are split into the light and dark half. The symbol that your team needs to remember from this room will be indicated as the third and final symbol on the outside center column. If the third symbol on the column is dark, I need to remember the symbol on the dark side of the room. Your main goal is to repeat this for each column that corresponds to an obelisk. This means you will kill three knights in total, then enter three rooms, and then record three different symbols. After this has been done, you are going to go back to the obelisks and enter the glyphs. Very simply, all you need to do is figure out which of the three obelisks has all three of the symbols that you recorded. Once you figure that out, the two players at that obelisk need to shoot each of the three symbols or glyphs in quick succession. I believe you need to do this for each obelisk, so after you have entered a code on one obelisk, you shouldn't need to do it again. As of right now, I have only done this once, so this might not be 100% accurate, but at the end of the day, it doesn't make a huge difference. If your input is rejected and you enter the wrong symbols, this is going to completely change where the glyphs are, so there is no guarantee that all three symbols or glyphs are on the exact same obelisk every single time. After you enter the glyphs into an obelisk, it should accept them if you do it correctly. Then you repeat this whole process over again for the remaining two obelisks. The other mechanic to mention is that oftentimes these symbols on your column are going to disappear. When this happens, all you need to do is shoot the tonic crystal on the top of your obelisk to see them again. After you have gone through and entered three sets of three glyphs, one set into each obelisk, you should complete the encounter.